Okay, so what we're going to do today is I'm just going to take you through getting a sphere using the wax brush with a clay light clay like um, sculpting brush and we're just going to sculpt up this weird looking creature here and we're also going to paint it using the 40 publish painting brush. So today I'm just going to use a sphere for my base mesh. I'm just going to go up to about a million polygons. Zoom right in there so I can see what I'm working on. And I like to start off with the wax brush using my own preset brush here. So I've got a, um, a stamp image. This has got a gradient coming in from the side. And I enclose that. I'll leave bilinear on. Turn off the fall off. And I'll use follow as well. So now I'm going to get this nice kind of clay brush look to my sculpt. And um, to begin with, I'm not going to actually worry about symmetry. I'm just going to paint, uh, sculpt over this side of the model. And I'm going to show you how you can copy things across to the other side. So I'm just going to make something a bit strange here. This is kind of going to be my eye. Build up the eye up there. Holding down control there to get rid of cut into it a bit. being very rough here, wanting to get this kind of very clay looking sculpt. I really like this kind of brush. Not that I do a lot of sculpting these days. I do like to just mess around every now and again. So I wanted to just do this on one side just to show um, you know, just to show this masking feature and how you can if you've gone on one side of your model and you want to get it to the other side, you can do this using this masking tool. Just mask the object that you want. And then you just come down to Sculpt Symmetry. And you need to just tell it where you want it to flip it to. So I'm going to flip it along the x-axis. I just go Mask Object. Oh, and it's actually flipped it that way. It's gone, of course, x that way. So I'm just going to undo that. Because what I wanted was actually to go across the z-axis. It's a bit of trial and error there. So we've pulled that geometry across the other side, and that's looking fine. And now I'm just going to clear that mask, switch back to the wax tool. Now I'm going to turn on the symmetry mode, and I'm going to uh, be sculpt symmetry around that z-axis. So when I sculpt now, it's going to be on both sides. And I also want to make sure that when I swap tools, if I swap any of these tools, I want the symmetry to be linked. So I just click link symmetry as well. So now I've got the sculpting set up so that it's on both sides of the model here. So now I can come in and I can sculpt in some detail in here. I'm going to sculpt in the bridge of the nose kind of shape there. Might cut that out. Build up a nose shape there. And now I want to just kind of a small mouth here. Again, I'm not a great sculptor. This is just to show just a few things that you can do. So just to tighten up some of this, I'm just going to switch to the, uh, the knife mode there. Bring that down a bit. I'm just gonna. It's a bit too much pressure there. Just gonna bring in some lines. Just a few lines. And I also like to go on and smooth some of these things out as well. So then I go on and I just hold down shift and I just smooth some of those lines out because they sometimes get a bit too sharp. Come in here as well. 
but then I can switch back to the wax tool and add back you know, a bit, bit of my detail back in there. Okay, so that's kind of my weird model there. And I just want to switch to um, show you how you can kind of paint this up as well. So under 40 Publish, I'm going to switch to the paintbrush. Um, and I'm going to go to the material view as well. And this is the material for this object. So you've got to have this object selected, which it which it is. So if the object's selected in the viewport, sphere selected, you can use this and it'll show up here. If I deselect, then nothing's there. So I select the sphere again, there's the UVs. And it hasn't got a material, so it says no material there. So let's go create single material. So I've got this background layout on this one material. And now I uh, select my paintbrush again. And now we're good to go for painting. Basically, I can just start painting. Um, so I could start painting on here now like this, but I don't actually want to paint color. I want to paint using a stencil. So I'm going to come up and grab the content view. When you load this for the first time, it can take a little while to scan through all the images um, to build the view. And under stencils here, I've got um, some high resolution textures of, uh, of the face. And I'm actually going to use this, this skin under here. So let's go control click on there. And what that will do is that'll set the stencil automatically for me. And then I can hold down the T key as you normally do um, to move it around. But I'm just going to use these buttons over here as well. And I'll make it a bit bigger there. I'm actually only going to be using one side of this model. And I'm going to mirror it to the other side. So that's about right there. Um, so now I can start painting the skin texture down onto the model here. I'm just going to paint all the skin texture there. So it's you're painting on this side of the model, and it's taking the texture from this side, and it's you know applying it on the other side as well, just like it would with the sculpting. But this is um this is painting, obviously. And yeah, I can just keep keep going. I can build up, get just a nice uniform kind of skin texture here for this creepy guy. You notice there's a different color there because I just switched around to a different side of the of the neck there. If you hold down shift, you can kind of do a blurring between it to get rid of some of this. Hold down shift and blur the textures a bit together. So that's okay for a default skin there. And now I want to get maybe um, an eye into the into here. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to come up to the 40 Publish Material uh, Content View again. Just find an eye image. I'm just going to use one eye. Just use that one there. Oh, we might. Yeah, we'll use. Oh, we'll use this one. We'll see what it looks like when it goes right in the corner. Oh no, that will be fine. Scale it down. Let's change the transparency there so we can get see where this eye is, and I'll just move it around a bit. I'm going to rotate the model so I can put it kind of where I want it. Um, I need to actually flip this. So let's flip it in the x direction. Yeah, and I will scale it down, change transparency so we can see a bit where it's going to go, give it a big eye, a bit smaller, a little bit bigger, I think that'll be fine like that, and then I just start painting on the eye, paint the eye in, and I'm going to hold down shift again just to, oh there's a bit too much smoothing there, let's get the settings, bring that down, using a Wacom here as well, but I thought I'd just pull it down a bit. So I'm just drawing with a little bit less pressure. So that's looking pretty creepy. And I want to also get uh, a mouth in there as well, so let's uh, change texture again. And I just control click on here. I will use this one here, maybe I will use that one, that's fine. And uh, just move that down to where the mouth is a bit. To make this a bit weirder, I'm going to spin it around. So I go to the symmetry, uh, the stencil, and I'm going to flip it by 180. And just put it about there. I'll actually zoom in a little bit on this model. Interesting. So I've still got symmetry on there. Doesn't really matter which side I paint onto. 
Be a little bit bigger. It's looking sufficiently creepy. And now I also want to get in those. Now this texture already has a nose on it, but uh, only a little bit of it. So we'll again go to content view and we'll just find a picture of a nose. Again, just control clicking there. Don't need any rotation there. And I'm going to put the nose in here. About there will be all right. So I'm just painting the texture of the nose onto here. And now I'm just going to close that off and go to the wax brush again and make my brush quite small. Holding down Control Shift, I'm just going to. Undo, undo, hold down control and just dig in there to get some nostrils in there. And then I'm going to build this nose up a little bit more, I think. It's kind of fun sculpting when it's already been textured. You can see the texture flowing around it. And I'll just smooth that out a little bit. And I also want these eyes, obviously, not to be bulging in, but to be bulging out a bit. So I'm going to actually just come in and I might, I'll keep using the wax brush. It's not the ideal tool, but it will be fine. And then I'll just a bit more, and then I'll smooth it out a bit. And I'll grab the knife tool, pull that down a bit, and I'll just cut in some lines up here as well. Again, just smooth it out just slightly. So there we go. That's um, using the sculpting tools. And the uh, and the paintbrush from Forty Publish to make something slightly creepy.